And that's a little baby. I always wonder whether we enjoy looking at the chimps more than the chimps enjoy looking at us. Thinking about Mr. Agrippa. Wait, where's Jay? This is Cap. Oh, they've eaten him, Frankie. They've eaten him. No, I am. The elephants don't eat people. They're vegetarians. Where is he then? You said something about snakes. Come on, follow me. Oh, um. <sighs> you see, I told you so. Jay, don't ever do that again. I thought elephants had eaten you. But how could they? They don't eat kids. They, they, um, what's it called again? A vegetarian. That's it. That's it. Vegetablarians. And vegetablarians don't eat kids. Yes, I know, but it still scared me. They're so big and you're so small. Hey, listen to this. There are 16 species of python in Africa, Asia, and the Australian region. Uh, 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 here we are. Pythons feed primarily on mammals, which they kill by constriction. Kids are mammals, right? Hmm. I think so. Snakes have scales and birds have feathers. And we are hairy. Some of us are hairier than others. Mammals are hairy, so we must be mammals. So if pythons eat mammals and, and we're mammals, then pythons eat us, right? I suppose so. Oh. Quickly, Ayanda, you're blocking my way. Oh. Oh. I like this. Mm. That old hairy man. The orangutan. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one. That kept on turning his back on us. Doesn't like to be looked at. <laughs> if I was an animal in the zoo, mm -hmm. I'd also keep turning my back at all the people staring at me. <laughs> Hello. Hello, children. Hello, Hello Mama Bo. Bo. Enjoy your visit to the zoo. It is yeah. lovely, Mama Bo. Did you learn something? Yes, I would have learned that elephants don't eat kids like me. Except I already knew they were vegetablarians. <laughs> but we did learn that pythons eat mammals. Yes. Did you know, Mama Bones, that kids are mammals? No. The python kind of looked at us and licked its lips. It's that's when we decided to leave the zoo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm going home. Oh. Do you want to come in? Just for a minute, spider. Oh. I left my key inside. Mama Bones, hmm? can we please use the trap door? No problem. Thanks, Mama Bones. <laughs> How many kids do you think a big python could eat? Four, maybe? Oh. Shh. There it is again. Hi, when? What? Something went over my foot. Hi, Is it still after us? Is what after you? We saw something in the tunnel. It slithered. Oh, Frankie's foot. Oh, I think it had paws. I think it had scales. It must have been the... Don't say it, Mama Bones. Don't, Don't say it. Don't say it. The Tokolosh. Oh. You know what it felt like, Spider? It felt like a... a Don't a, say it, Frankie. Spider, it felt like a snake. Oh. <gasps> well, that's what Mama Bones said. And Mama Bones knows about these things. But then Frankie said it felt like a snake. So we really don't know what it could have been. Here's a bit of news that might interest you kids. Didn't you go to the zoo yesterday? What happened? Seems one of the keepers left a door open. And one of the animals escaped. 
Hope your badge didn't have anything to do with it, huh? What animal was it? Some sort of, uh... Oh, let's see. Oh, yes, a python. A python? <laughs> Did I say something wrong? <laughs> well, well, well. Look at this, Brother Joseph. A chance to make a little killing. I'll have nothing to do with killing, Mr. Agrippa. Pickpocketing, maybe. Not killing. <laughs> That's going too far. Much too far. No, 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 you silly man. A little killing means a chance to make a little money. No, no. Not even for money. I won't do it. Brother Joseph, I am not suggesting that we kill anybody. I am suggesting that we make a little money. A thousand rand, to be precise. <laughs> a thousand rand? Mm. How? Simple. By catching an animal that has escaped from the zoo, and for which they are offering a little reward. Of one thousand rand? Precisely. What kind of an animal is it? An African python. A python? Mm. Forget about it, Mr. Agrippa. Forget all about it. A python? You want us to catch a python? Are you mad? It'll eat us alive. These are big snakes. They open their mouths like this. And uh, whoops! Down you go. No way. You think it's worth 1,000 rand to be eaten alive? Whoa. Brother Joseph, <laughs> before you rush off, I've come up with a plan that will enable us to catch the serpent without going anywhere near it. There's absolutely no danger at all, at least to us. No danger? Hmm. Not a whit. Not a smidgen. Not an iota. Now, let me explain it. Uh, first, we're going to need some, some pieces of wood, a number of pieces of wood, and uh, some chicken wire. Yes, chicken wire. Uh, nails, of course, tools. You've got all the tools, Brother Joseph. Jay, mm -hmm. you didn't do anything you shouldn't have, did you? No, I didn't. Why does everyone keep on asking me that? Does anyone know where it's gone? The paper says it went south. South? Mm. But, but where's south of the zoo? You don't think that that thing that slithered over my foot was the... Don't, don't say it, Frankie! The python! Oh. Oh. I don't think it could have got here so fast. We came straight here from the zoo. The pattern wouldn't have had time to creep all the way to town. I'm telling you, if it was a snake that bit your foot... It didn't bite my foot, Mama Bones. You didn't feel it bite your foot, that's true. But you never know where the Tokolosh is. How do you know it was a Tokolosh, Mama Bones? Mm. Come closer, children. You can't be too careful. These Tokoloshes have big ears. You want to know how I know, hmm, Ayanda? Yeah. Well, let me tell you. This morning, when I came to open up my stall, it was still half dark. I was standing here, arranging my apples and my bananas like this. I looked up, and there I saw it! It stood there, calm as you like. Its wicked little eyes shining at me, standing on its hind legs with its little furry body like a snake with hair, looking at me. Oh, children, it was terrible. Terrible! Got the saw, Brother Joe. Yes, Mr. Agrippa. Hammer? Yes, Mr. Agrippa. Nails? I've got everything we'll need, Mr. Agrippa. Good, good. And I've got the plan. It looks very complicated. Of course it's complicated. You can't have a simple trap to catch a creature as cunning as a, as a python, you know. Well, you better begin. Where am I supposed to begin, Mr. Agrippa? Do I have to tell you everything? Yes, I suppose I do. Here's the plan. Now, get on with it. It started in the tunnel yesterday, and since then, we've all seen things, weird animals. And Mama Bon says they must all be the Tokolosh. What do you think, Mrs. Simkese? Well, many people believe in the Tokolosh. Well, but, but, but what is it anyway? I've never seen one. A Tokolosh is supposed to be an evil little creature that does harm to humans. Oh, 
Like an imp. Well, I don't believe in imps, so I suppose I don't believe in Tokoloshis either. And nor do I. You don't? don't? But everybody has seen a Tokoloshi. I haven't. You'll never guess what just happened to me. I was sitting next to one of Dad's vegetable beds. Then I felt this icy cold feeling creep across my ankles. How can you say you don't believe in it? Go on, Jay, tell us what happened. Well, I looked down. And what do you think I saw? Oh, tell us what, what? It didn't have legs. That must have been a snake or something. It didn't have eyes. Oh, it couldn't have been a snake. Unless it was one of those snakes that don't have eyes. It was cold. And squishy. Snakes and squishy. It was about this long. Oh, Jay, we give up, man. Tell us, what was it? It was an earthworm. <laughs> oh, Jay, that is my <laughs> <laughs> There's your tokoloshi, Ayanda. Now, take the earthworm back to the garden, Jay. Mm -hmm. You know what your father says about earthworms? Yes, earthworms are nature's gardeners. <laughs> give me a hint. Listen, I've got an idea. Everyone's been seeing all these things all over the place. Togoloshes in the street, snakes underground, and whatever the thing was that jumped on me this morning. Don't you think it's all in one thing? I mean, one animal, or maybe just one togoloshi? Maybe, but whatever it is, let's draw it on a piece of paper and then decide. What do you think? I think that's a very good idea, Spider. Mm. It's the scientific way of doing things. First you collect all the information, mm -hmm. then you sort it all out and work out what means what, mm -hmm. and then it's just like when you were the great detective, Ayanda, remember? Hey, hey, come on, let's go and do it at my place. Now that's the ticket, Brother Joe. You've done a splendid job here. Let's see now. Let us suppose the python wriggles his way up the street, right? Then it sees that our track is in its way. So it looks up, sticks its head in here, then he slithers in a bit further. But what's this, he says? I'm trapped. I must get out of here. <laughs> but there's no way out. Then we telephone the zoo. They hightail it over here with a python basket in the one hand and a little bag of money in the other. What do you think of that, Brother Joe? No, that sounds fine, Mr. Agrippa. <laughs> but there's one thing that bothers me. What's that? Well, it's just that I'm not sure I understand why the python would want to get into the cage in the first place. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't it just slither on past? Now, that's a very good question, Brother Joe. It proves that you're not just a pretty face, hmm? <laughs> so, in order to entice the python into our trap, we are going to have to bait it. But what are we going to use as bait? Good afternoon, Mr. Agrippa. Good afternoon, children. Isn't it a lovely day? Not a cloud in the sky, the gentlest possible breeze, and happiness in every heart. He's up to something, I can tell. What's that, Mr. Agrippa? Mm, funny you should ask. Well, we all know how much crime there is around these days. This is my little contribution to making the street a safer place for us all. My burger trap. You're gonna trap burglars? Exactly. Then you better be careful you don't trap yourself, Mr. Agrippa. Why, oh, you little pest? <laughs> so, first there were the little feet that Frankie felt running over his feet in the tunnel. But if it had feet, then it couldn't have been a snake. Snakes don't have feet. Well, I thought it was a snake at first. But the more I thought about it, the more I remember the feeling of those two flat feet. Blop, blop, blop. Then there was the thing that jumped on me when I woke up. Mm. I only saw it for a second. Those feelers and those spiky little legs. Yeah. If it had feelers, it was probably an insect eye. Oh. Then there was the little chocolate that Mama Bon saw. Mm. What did she say about it? She said it had wicked little eyes. That reminds me of that little spider with those glittering eyes. And furry body. Yeah. That spider also had a very little body. Mm. But remember, she said it looked like a snake with hair on it. But snakes don't have hair. Well, what do you think it is, Dad? I've never seen an animal like that in my life before. Well, that proves it. It's a togolosh, just like Mama Bones say. Mm. But what if it's not one animal? What if it's three different animals, eh? What if 
there's one creature that lives where it is damp and has cold, wet feet and hops and blabs and blabs. Mm. If it hops oh. and has wet, cold feet, then I suppose it could be... A frog! A frog, yeah. And what if that thing that jumped on me with spiky legs and feelers and made a horrible smell oh, was an animal all on its own, eh? I've seen something like that before, but I can't remember. And what if the togolosh that Mama Bone saw across the street, standing on its hind legs with its bright eyes and its fairy body, was a real animal and not a togolosh? Huh? Something like this. This hairy and snaky, bright eyes standing on its back legs. Huh? I've never seen an animal like that before. Huh. How many animals are there all together? Well, it's difficult to say. Difficult for you, maybe, but not difficult for me. Um, let me see. If we take it continent by continent, starting on the left in, what it is, what is it called these days, come on? Don't you know anything, Urquhart? America's on the left, Europe and Africa in the middle, and Asia and Australia on the right. Yes, right. Yes, America. Well, there are quite a few species of animal there, mm -hmm. especially in the rainforests. Insects of all kinds, salamanders, even the odd marsupial. Then mm. Europe and Africa? The really big mammals, yes, yes. And the great apes, of course. Mm. Mm. In Asia? Oh, well, millions more there. Snow leopards, some wonderful butterflies. Australia? More marsupials. Interesting. Yes, well, I'd say there are somewhere between 3 million and 30 million species of animal. Not bad for a small planet in an undistinguished galaxy. Come on, Jay, we've got to go home. Uh, guys, I, I've got to go now. Bye. Back, back. Hard facts, packed with information. That's what we're all about. Little facts, big facts, tough facts, enough facts. Viva the facts, oh yeah. yeah. Close the door, Jay. Oh, okay. You, over here. I won't eat you, little boy. W w w what do you want? Well, it, it's my burglar trap, you see. I need to test it to see that it really works. You want me to watch? <laughs> well, no, not exactly. What I'm looking for is a sort of <clears throat> test pilot, you see. Someone who would test it while I watch. Do you think you could help me? Of course, I would pay you. What do you say, hmm? All right. Uh, what should I do? <gasps> Look at that, guys. Oh, it's very snake-like. And it's got glittering eyes. But they're not scary. That must be what Mama Poon saw. <laughs> the, the piper, the, the, the burglar would come along here mm -hmm. and then he'd spot the little bag of money I plan to put inside there as bait, you see? And then he'd squeeze his way in through here. But how's he supposed to fit through there? Isn't it obvious? Not to a little guy like me. Show me. Really, it's perfectly simple to anyone with any intelligence at all. You simply stick your head in here, like this. And then what? Well, you push your shoulders in, like this. Oh, but what if the burglar's too fat to fit through? If I can fit through here, then any reasonably well-built burglar won't have any problem at all. Now, you show me. Okay. Wait, I want to be sure the burglar can't come out once he's inside. If I'd known you were going to be so difficult, I would have asked someone else. I'll do it as soon as you've shown me. Promise. Very well. There, you see? Perfect design. No pipe. <coughs> Burger, who finds himself in here, will ever be able to get out, you can be sure. <laughs> Well, I I've got to be going home. It's getting late, Mr. Agrippa. Bye. You can't leave me here. The python will get me. I thought you said it was a burglar trap. I was tricking you, you foolish boy. <laughs> Don't leave me. Help. Bye. Help. 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 <laughs>
Yes, it's what people call a new town prawn. But it's really a mole cricket. We gardeners call it the gardener's friend. A friend? But it looks like a monster. It eats all sorts of pests, snails and wood lice. And sometimes it wanders into people's houses. That's what must have happened to this one. Ah, oh, it's a meerkat. Have you seen it? Yes, we saw one on the way home, and Mama Bon saw it too, but she thinks it's a togolosh. Togolosh? Yes. No, it's a meerkat. I've uh, seen it in the railway yards. It's lived there for years. It seems to like the city. <gasps> and what's this? Oh, um, it's not a very good drawing. Um, that's because I didn't really see it. It just hopped on my foot in the dark. And you thought it was a snake. Why? Well, it was cold and damp. Snakes aren't damp, Frankie. Although they can be cold. Frog? Um, I think so. So, all the mysteries are solved. Except for what happened to the python from the zoo. Oh no, that's been solved too. Have a look. They found the python in the elephant house. Nobody knows how it got there. Although it says here, the elephants were very upset. Oh, well, that's all right then. It means Mr. Agrippa won't be eaten. What do you mean? Well, that wasn't a trap to catch burglars. It was a trap to catch pythons. And win the reward for returning the python to the zoo. Yes, except Mr. Agrippa wanted me to climb into the cage. As bait, I bet. Mm. <laughs> but somehow he got in instead. And now he's yelling and shouting to be let out. He thinks the python's going to have him for supper. <laughs> <laughs> Serves him right. <laughs> I should let him out, I suppose, hey? No, no, no. I think he, he might learn a lesson if you left him there all night. But uh -huh. he doesn't know the python's been caught. Yeah, <laughs> 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 python. Pretty, pretty python. Now look, even if you are hungry, I don't think you'll find me particularly appetizing. A bit of, oh, a bit tough. Not a tasty morsel at all. Python, are you listening to me? Python, no, help! Spider, what are you doing? Welcome to Spider's Comic and Video Shop. Hey, this is all about us. It's all about Spider's Play. Here's me. There's a comic, a video, and an audio cassette for each of our adventures. And we buy them from you? Sure. Or write to Handspring Trust at 1 Magnet Street, Kensington, Johannesburg, 2094. Hmm? Mm-hmm.